I would suggest uh, an estimate of between 60 and 80 thousand pounds. <laughs> Welcome to Watch More Jaw UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 incredible weapons found on Antiques Roadshow. This is silver inlay work of the finest possible quality. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable, rare and amazing swords, daggers and firearms to be showcased on the UK's premier antique show. Number 10. The Fornham Sword I bet you felt like King Arthur. I, I did a bit, yeah. In April 2017, construction workers at the All Saints Hotel and Golf Course in Bury St Edmunds were digging away at a pond. As the digger bucket lifted some soil, a strange object was poking out. After it was expertly examined, it was discovered to be an ancient sword from the Battle of Fornham that lasted from 1173 to 1174. Right, so that is really very old. Yeah. In 2018, the old weapon was brought onto Antiques Roadshow when the production arrived at Helmington Hall in Suffolk, England. The expert on the show, Bill Harriman, hypothesised that the sword was likely thrown away by a soldier as they ran for their life. When, when you look at it, it's just a wonderful piece of very simple design which has no other function than for killing people. As such, as a piece of history, it was deemed priceless. Number 9. The Intricate Multi-Tool This one knocks mine into an absolute cocked hat, doesn't it? It does. In 2021, one of the most unique multi-tools in the world arrived on Antiques Roadshow as the programme came to Dufferin Gardens in Wales. After receiving the item from his father, the guest decided to get the instrument looked at by expert Mark Allen. Everything from scissors to gun cartridge removers to bone saws to a rule. I, I mean, the, the sky's the limit, really. He explained that the object was a whopping 48-blade multi-tool that was made in Sheffield in the 19th century as an exhibition piece by the penknife's manufacturer. Alum continued that if it were to go to auction, it could easily sell for up to £3,000. Gracious me. That's amazing. Then... The poor Alum accidentally cut himself on the amazingly still sharp blades. Sugar! I just <laughs> stabbed <laughs> myself! <laughs> Number 8. The Silver Dress Dagger This piece has come from much further away and in a sense it's coming home. In 2015, Antiques Roadshow arrived at Lime Park in Cheshire, England for their Christmas special. And boy, this item was very special. Brought in by Lord Newton at the estate that was his ancestral home was a stunning silver dress dagger. Appraised by Adam Schoon, the handle alone is expertly made with impressive materials. Newton mentioned that his family believed it belonged to Charles I. What a great thing to own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, very fortunate, yes. While Schoon also noted that the blade had the Latin Carolus, meaning Charles, written upon it, he also stated it was a common name at the time. Regardless, after speaking to colleagues, Schoon believed this elegant dagger was made in the 16th century for use by a noble, and valued up to £20,000. It's very, very rare. Perhaps I need to ensure it more. Number 7. The Sword of Surrender But this is a sword with a really special story. In October 1781, Great Britain was losing the siege of Yorktown during the American Revolutionary War. Seeing no option, the general, Lord Charles Cornwallis, surrendered to the Americans. Instead of going himself, he sent Charles O'Hara to hand over the Sword of Surrender, essentially ending the war before the weapon was returned to the general. This is the actual sword? And this is the actual sword with which he had to surrender. In September 2016, this history-altering blade arrived on Antiques Roadshow in Audley End in Essex, England, at the hands of expert Robert Tilney. The weapon had been passed through Cornwallis's descendants before being on the show. With the rich history behind it, Tilney gave it a low estimate of between £10,000 to £12,000, but it could go higher, especially in the US market. It's such mm. a fascinating thing for the American market. It is, isn't it? Number 6. Damascus Barreled Shotgun Originally from 1760s. 
1960s, 1770s. The last thing you want to do if you appear as a guest with a rare item on Antiques Roadshow is tell the expert where you've kept it when you've been a bit careless. But in 2020, at the V&A Museum in Dundee, Scotland, one person learned this the hard way. Showcasing her weapon, expert Robert Tilney took a loving look at the firearm before asking where she'd kept it. And he was less than impressed to hear it was in the back of a wardrobe. And it lives in a wardrobe. <laughs> yes. You should be ashamed of yourself. Just look at it. After joking that she should be ashamed of herself, Tilney mentioned the item was a Damascus barreled shotgun with a gold inlay made around the 1770s. As such, he'd expect this to be sold for around £3,000. They've even engraved the back here. Look at yes. this. This is fabulous. Number five. Royal Dagger. During his travels as an artist around 1819, George Vivian ended up in Albania. Well, it actually belongs to my cousin and it was uh, acquired by his great great grandfather. There, he met ruler Ali Pasha of Yonania, who gifted the artist a stunning golden dagger and sheath in a box, which was later found to have been created in Senegal. After Vivian returned to the UK, the item went through the hands of his descendants. Eventually, it arrived in front of Mark Allam on Antiques Roadshow. The expert was delighted to see such a stunning blade with intricate detailing. Even the slight damage to the dagger didn't diminish its historical or monetary value too badly. I'm finding it very difficult to think about putting a value on it. Allam, after much consideration, put a price between £8,000 to £12,000 for the royal knife. Number 4. Italian Pistol this is a top quality presentation piece. It's not often the programme's experts are a bit lost for words when presented with an item, but that's what happened when Robert Tilney got his hands on an antique pistol in 2022 at Ham House in London, England. The guest stated that the weapon was given to him by his stepfather, who was gifted it by a business associate. You have this fabulous burst of gold. Even the pistol being broken and fixed when the guest was a teenager didn't hinder Tilney's enthusiasm. The expert explained it was made in Turin, Italy, during the late 1700s. The stunning gold details and silver inlay made the pistol exceptional, so much so that Tilney put a valuation of up to £20,000. It, it is just a fabulous piece. Number three, Indian daggers. Sometimes, it's a small world. In 2021, Antiques Roadshow arrived at Aston Hall in Birmingham, England. The religious aspect to a sword is quite important for many of the martial races of India. There, a guest arrived with a collection of ancient Indian weaponry that belonged to her dad for expert Runjeet Singh, who had dealings with her father in the past. Each item beautifully detailed a tale from religion. One blade, the South Indian Bichwa, spoke about Sati's marriage to the Hindu god Shiva. An upsprung Virabhadran, who is a protagonist of the story and is pictured right here. Other weaponry included a 17th or 16th century katar and an 18th century specifically created ceremonial double dagger. The guest stated her father spent around £10,000 on the items. The Bichwa alone was valued by Singh at the same price around £35,000 for the Qatar and the double dagger at £40,000. Is that what you expected? Uh, a lot more than what I expected. Number two, musical pen knife. You've brought in, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen on the road show. Good. Pen knives are usually made to be a weapon or a tool for survival. They don't usually possess the ability to play music, but that turned out to be the case with this unique one in 2015 when Antiques Roadshow arrived at Broughton Castle in Oxfordshire, England. As expert John Baddeley explained, the beautifully designed penknife was made in Switzerland around 1820. And that's where you would wind it up uh, and then you could play it and uh, it would play a couple of tunes, I suspect. Yes. On top of the double blades, a small opening at the bottom of the knife had a small winding keyhole for the item to play music. Sadly, the key was damaged. However, Baddeley reassured the guest that it could be fixed and play a tune again. Even with this issue, he gave it a value of between £60,000 and £80,000. Honestly, 
<laughs> really? Are you sure? Number one, cult gun. Sometimes you hear about people spending little for an item only for it to be worth a fortune. Probably about 1837. And yes. looking at this, I think this is really early in the series. And one guest on the Antiques Roadshow got to enjoy this dream when the programme appeared at the Black Country Living Museum in the West Midlands, England, in 2018. Expert Bill Harriman explained this cold gun was one of the first to use percussion caps, and this exact one was likely made in an early batch during 1837 in the US. As you pull the hammer back, bingo, out comes a little trigger. In Harriman's opinion, this revolver was the most significant model in firearms history. The guest bought the Colt 40 years ago and spent £150 for it, roughly £630 with inflation in 2018. A startled Harriman stated this item was worth a staggering £150,000. If it is, then I think it's got to be £150,000. <gasps> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.